Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crystal in Light. My name is Charlotte. Thank you for being here, guys. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I have a donate button as well. If you would like to donate um, to help my channel grow, to buy some gear, etc., etc., you know the drill. So anyway, you guys, um, I tried to, um, as you know, this is going to be a pick a card reading, as it obviously shows. Um, I tried. I was. I I recorded a new moon. Um, reading i did a new moon reading on the 23rd mind you and um i uploaded it on the 23rd it wouldn't then i tried to upload it on the 24th which was the actual new moon or 25th depending on where you are guys basically i tried to upload this video for three days it wouldn't i don't know why okay now i'm starting to think that maybe it was not meant to come out those days but I did keep the cards. So, and I did this pick a card with the same cards. Okay. I took a card from 10 decks. Okay. One card from 10 decks. Um, obviously in the pick a card, some of the piles have two, three or more than cards. So yeah. So basically I'm going to tell you guys what I had. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, so basically what I had, I'm, I'm going to show you, was amazing. The energy was amazing because the energy is amazing, guys. It's Aquarius New Moon, guys. It's air. It's fast movement. It's, it's propelling us. It's time to go. Red fruition, yes. It's time to know that everything you have been manifesting is about to come true, but you have to co-create with spirit. You have to show spirit that you are still willing, that you still want this. So how do you do that is by stepping into it, setting it off. That first, that one little step will show spirit that you are ready and you still want this and spirit will just propel you and put wind under their, your wings and you will fly. You Guys, I'm telling you, this is a 10. It's the end of that old cycle. Okay? It's the end. And then what did I have after that? I'm going to tell you in the sequence I had it because it was beautiful. Okay? Then I had the nine of water, which is the nine of cups. I'm not going to be hung up on signs because it's, it was a collective reading. Who cares, right? It was for everyone. So, Nine of Cups, what is Nine of Cups in the original right away? <laughs> super, super duper wish fulfillment, feeling like ecstatic, right? Having everything you need, feeling balanced. The world is like paradise. You're living in a dream. You're on a cloud, cloud nine, right? This is being on cloud nine. You're feeling it. People are feeling it. People want to be around you. Sometimes they want to steal your energy as well. Be careful with that. You know, there's always a flip side to every situation. See yin yang, it's that dark and light. Right. So, yeah, I'm here to protect your energy. So, she's chilling. She's floating. Her emotions are balanced. Um, look at all these diamonds. Yes, all you have to do is start with one diamond and spirit will just say, everything will fall into place. Pum, 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 pum. Synchronicities. One after the other. Just showing you the way, showing you the path. Wish fulfillment here. Both cards, guys. Totally. Then I had, I'm just going to tell you, like that wasn't enough, right? Then I had the happy family. Four solid foundations built on love. Okay? Built on positive energy. Happiness, joy, abundance. Reminds me of the four of pentacles. Reminds me of the ten of pentacles. I mean, ten of cups as well. Okay. This is you feeling happy on your own. And you, because of your energy, your vibration, making everybody around you happy. Making especially your, your family, your tribe, your community, your significant other, your children, you know, your community. Happy. You guys exchanging that energy and creating a solid foundation that can only get bigger and bigger and bolder and better. This is pure abundance, soul abundance, purity, success, okay? Then I had these two, <laughs> right? Miracles and Treasure Island. That's a double blessing here. Because the fruition is, this is all blessings here. Look at these cards. Fruition, Treasure Island, Miracles. 
The treasure island is your manifestation, which is about to come true. Okay, look at all that abundance. She started from one pentacle. This reminds me of like the ten of pentacles somehow. It's a ten as well. As well, what am I saying as well? This is the ten, that was the ten, right? <laughs> so look at all that abundance. And just from one idea, you sprout all this abundance, this success, this growth. And the treasure island is what, uh, what you're creating from that. And it's like one thing will lead you to so many more things. And it's like a rolling like ball of just like luck and success and just abundance. Abundance in every way. Money, beautiful things, love, serenity, just balance. Just your soul shining. Being connected to your higher self, to source, vibrating super high. Helping the community, your community, helping your loved ones just by being there, you know, and being that being that you are to the core, connected to your higher child, I mean, your higher self, connected to your inner child, just balance, body, mind, and spirit, serenity. And then with this miracle, I feel like whatever you're, you manifested that you are wishing for, you're going to get it in a way that you won't even expect, and it's going to be even bigger than you could ever imagine. You have two rainbows here. This is your manifestation. Spirit is doubling it or tripling it, whatever. We know spirit like measures, doesn't have measures, right? And spirit is like, whoo, immense. So you need to stop blocking yourself. Get out, get out of that cave. Get out of that hermit mode. Get out of that five of pentacles. Get out of that, you know, five of cups, energy. It's time to sprout. It's time to go. Show the world who you are. Flaws and everything. You are you. Be proud of you. Be confident that you can achieve this. You have done so much work. We have done so much work in 2019. The eclipses with everything happening in Capricorn that it's still around. Because Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, they're all still in Capricorn now, right? It's death and rebirth, guys. It's time to go. Put it to rest. It's over. It's done. Do you want to drag it with you? Do you want to stay there? You can. It's a pity. It's sad. Knowing that you have this on the other side, that would be super foolish. If I don't want to say another word, dumb, right? I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. Because then after that, we have cycles. The 10. It's the end of a cycle. The death of an old cycle Last year, 10 years, we're stepping into a new cycle of abundance, of success, of balance. Okay? You are capable. Stop and listen to your intuition. Aquarius is air. It's fast moving. It's information. It's insight. But you have to stop and listen. And you have to drop the past. That is like clouding your judgment. That is hindering you from seeing the bigger picture. That is keeping you shackled. You need to let it go. Guys, okay? Cycle is over. That dark cycle is over. Get out of the mountain and shine. Pursue your dreams. Spirit will catch you. Spirit has your back, but you have to co-create. You have to. Show spirit that you want this. And when, all you have to do is one little thing. Show spirit you want this. Show spirit you're worthy. Spirit knows you're worthy, but you have free will, right? So spirit is not going to be like, push you. Isn't that crazy that spirit has to push you to accept like happiness and joy and abundance? But that's how spirit works. It's, re it's respectful of your choices. Because then we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Know that that situation, whatever that thing that you went through, it's over. It was meant to be. It taught you a lesson. Take those lessons with you. It's not going to go away. It's somewhere inside of you. But it depends how you tame it, how you use it, how you transmute it. Because now it's time to have empathy for yourself so then you can have empathy for others. You need to forgive yourself, have compassion for yourself so that you can be in a state of balance. 
not only to achieve your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, receive the gifts of the universe, receive this uh, manifestation that you have, you know, sent spirit, and then so that you can also help others do the same thing. I just saw 1010. It's the end of a cycle, guys. Are you going to step on or are you going to stay in that um, heavy, heavy energy of last year, last decade? It's up to you. People need you. People need your energy. People need your, your compassion. People need your advice. People need you to show them how you did it. Are you doing it though? That's the question. Okay? Be your authentic self. Be your true self. This is an energy right now that we're in of being your authentic, authentic self, going after your dreams, not letting anybody tell you you are not capable, you're not worthy, and you can't. This is about stepping in one's power right now. This is what we're doing. We've done, This was what the work was for. It was to reclaim our power, to regain um, confidence and have the wisdom to know who we are, remember who we are, and know that everything we went through was for this. It was preparing us for this energy right now. We're about to enter Aquarian Age. It's, things are going to be moving fast, fast, fast. Don't let the plane leave you here. Jump on the plane. Start setting those foundations. Okay? There you go. That was an amazing reading I had. I'm sorry I didn't upload. I don't know why, but maybe it was for this, for me to give it as an intro. So basically, that's the intro, which was the new moon reading, and it applies to all the piles. Okay, we have three piles. First pile is Chalcedony, or blue lace agate, some of them call it. This is good for the throat chakra. Speak up. Who are you? Speaking up is confidence, right? Blue lace agate. Healing that throat chakra, not being afraid to stand up. That queen of swords, king of swords energy. Stand up for your beliefs. Stand up for your truth. From a place of love, obviously. Right? Third pile, I mean, second pile, sorry, we have clear quartz. Guys, clear quartz for purification. If you only have to have one, this is the stone to have. It is the stone. It is all the stones in one stone. It is a charger. It's a purify, purifier. And it's a clearer. It clears your mind. To receive those informations, right? Clear quartz. Or selenite. Where's my selenite? Selenite is amazing. Clear quartz and selenite are amazing for clearing any blockage, any attachment, any doubt, okay? Anxiety even. Okay? So, guys, let's do this. Let's start with the first pile. All right. Oh, let me let you meditate a little bit on this. I didn't do that. I've been talking. I was like, Ooh. okay, let's do this. I'm mean, gonna let, let's just do a free breathing exercises and just calm the energy a little bit so you guys can really identify which one is your pile. All right, guys, pile one, pile two, pile three. Okay. All right, guys, let's do this. So, move these over here. Pile one, my darlings. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, pile one. Let's start with the moon oracle. The path. Oh, yeah. About to embark on a new path, the path that is meant for you, the path that will fulfill you, bring you abundance, stability, the path that will set those foundations, 
this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, but you have to begin. You have to begin and spirit will catch you. You need to co-create. Spirit is bringing this to you. Let go of everything that no longer serves you. You've done that. It's been done over with. This is a new era. This is a new energy. This is the Aquarian age. We're no longer letting people dictate our life or what we need to do or whatever, whatever. We're no longer stepping, you know, allowing those energies to, 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 to influence who we want to become, who we want to, you know, what we want to do. Step into your power. What is your path? What is your calling? What do you really want to do? What moves you? Venus is in Pisces, guys, as well. Okay. What's up? What's going on? What is it? What do you want to do? You can do it. You are capable. Stand in your power. Don't let anybody, anything deter you. You've worked too hard this past year, decade. It's time to let it go. Don't pity yourself. Have compassion for yourself. Have an understanding that it was supposed to happen. Don't dwell in it. Don't be in your head too much. Aquarius is air energy. It's a lot of like mental thinking in the brain stuff. Don't do that. Don't be looping. No, no, no. Monkey mind. No, no, no. Use that monkey mind to create something. But again, don't use that monkey mind too much because then it will push you into that um, self-doubt, right? It's not the time to think overthink things. You know it's the time to go within, inside your solar plexus, your sacral chakra, and create. Set that first brick. The answers are within you, not in your head. They're inside your core, your gut, your soul. Step. Take the first step up that ladder. You will be propelled. Trust me. From then on, everything is going to roll. Spirit just needs you to give them the go. How do you do that is by showing them you want this. It's okay. It's an eight. It will bring you balance. Everything is going to be flowing naturally from here on if you let it. Okay, guys? Then after that, let's get the um, animal oracle. Be at home. Some of you want to start a home business. Some of you need to stay home and balance yourself. Some of you are maybe pulled in different directions. Some of you are asked to do a lot of things. People want stuff from you. I don't know. Maybe you're a cancer. I'm feeling that. I don't know. You need to be at home. You need to regroup. You need to protect your energy, protect your space, clear your space, move things around at home. Get rid of anything that doesn't serve you anymore. It cannot come. It's cluttering your mind and your space. It's keeping you from moving forward. All right? Stop, meditate, listen, clear quartz again. Clear the energy in your home. And you yourself are your home. So it means you need to go home. You need to rekindle with your soul, your spirit. You need to balance your soul, your spirit, your heart, your mind, everything. Go home. Where's home is yourself. Okay? Connect with your higher self. Reclaim your power. All right, guys? That's a five. It's change. Well, it's not a five. It's 68, which you break it down. It's 15 and it's five, right? It's change, change is change. Everything is screaming change, 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 change. And it's not just, it's everyone. But guy, if there's resistance, I mean, it's just not going to, if you miss the wave, you miss it. And I'm telling you, it's not going to be fun. Mm -mm -mm. Who wants to repeat those cycles? I know I don't. Gosh, you know what I mean? Then we have the moon. You don't have the answers. Spirit cannot give you the answers now. That's the mystery. You have to trust in the mystery, you have to believe in the magic. Once you get, you, you know, you take that first step, like I said, spirit then will know you're worthy, will know you want this, you've manifested it, right? You know, we manifest so many things, but then it's here and we're like, ooh, oh, you know what I mean? That's why it's really important to manifest constant you know to, to have consistency in your manifestations you can't manifest like i don't know um a bicycle one day and then the next day you manifest a, a car and the next day you manifest a plane i mean spirit's gonna be it's like what do you want really you know that's confusion you cannot manifest from a place of um confusion it's not possible so when you manifest from your get your soul you know from from what you are really passionate about it's going to be the same manifestation and spirit gets it. And 
now is the test of, okay, are you, do you really want that? And you take that step to show you do, and this person will start giving you the answers, slowly but surely, and you, it'll be smooth, smooth. You need to go with the flow. Declutter so you can get the information. It's very important. Clear quartz, okay? That's a nine, you're almost there. That step is the one that will propel you and really, really start that wheel and that cycle, that new cycle, and it will be the wheel of fortune. Guys, abundance, prosperity, luck, balance. You, for you, and everyone around you. Amazing, right? Then we have the energy. What was I saying? That second chakra, Archangel Ariel, which is your sacral chakra, your creativity force, right? We have the root, then we have the sacral. This is the creation chakra. It's the womb. It's sexuality, it's creativity, it's mother energy. We have be at home. I feel like a lot of you are cancers or water signs, mostly cancers, but that's not important. It's for pile one, okay? You guys are one. What is one? Beginnings. Mean something. Speak up. Be confident. Okay? Follow your dreams. Start creating. The answers are within, though. See, you're waiting for some answers, but they're within you. Once you connect and you purify and you align that chakra, all of your chakras while you're at it, right? Why align one? Because we have the blue lace agate, which is, you know, for your throat. You need to align all of your chakras. But the connection here is your sacral and your throat. So whatever it is that you have to do, that you want to do, has to do with self-expression. Well, that's all creativity is, right? Self-expression. But here it could be speakers. You guys are speakers, singers, whatever. YouTube channel? Maybe you're working from home, like I said. Speaking is being confident, having self-confidence and trusting in yourself, that queen of swords, king of swords energy, speaking your truth. What is your dream, your passion? Be passionate. Be self-confident. Be assertive. Okay? When you create from passion, a place of passion, <laughs> success is guaranteed, guys. I don't, I, you know that. If you don't know, you know now, I'm telling you. Maybe you know, but you've forgotten. But all the stuff we go through in life, we tend to, we can forget. We can be, yes, we can start swimming, uh, you know, in those deep waters and just forget. This is a time to remember it all, our power. So then, because after, we're gonna do the sacred destiny at the end, and as well as the wisdom oracle and the affirmation. So now let's start with uh, let's get the crystal. Huh? <laughs> Bam! Clear course. What was I saying? Purification. Okay. It's time to purify everything. Your space, your energy. It's time to let things, people go, places. Maybe you guys need to move. You're moving, maybe. It's time to let it go. All right, guys. Clear quartz. I've said enough of it, right? With clear quartz. Because then we have five of pentacles, eight of pentacles, death, page of pentacles. What I'm feeling here is that there's a situation that needs to be let go. A job, a home. Like I said, some of you are moving. This situation is bringing you nothing. Okay? Nothing. You've been working hard on it. Spirit is redirecting you towards something bigger, better. That's that path. Something that you need to start from scratch that is going to bring you that ten of pentacles. That is going to bring you abundance. Something you've been wishing for. Your manifestation. But you have to take the first step. Confidently. Knowing that you're coming from a place of passion. Trusting in the universe. Not thinking about the outcome. Although... If you really believe, and if you're coming from a place of passion and love, it's bound to be successful. But don't be hung up on the outcome. Don't be hung up on the how. Just start. Spirit will direct, spirit will direct you in the right direction. 
but you have to believe because whatever this is has been le leaving you in the cold you've been working so hard diligently and it's not for you it needs to be put to bed you've been there too long there's no more growth there it, it needs to go it could be job i feel job it could be some home you were living in some house that's too expensive maybe you were living at your parents house or whatever it could be a divorce there's a family here a mother and a not whatever <clears throat> you know what it is let it go it's over this is screaming new beginning here screaming new beginning this is a new beginning a new offer coming in maybe the path this is setting you on the path these energies are doing everything to set you on the path but you have to let it and show spirit that you want it you want this change this redirection because this isn't going nowhere. It's a dead end. Right, guys? Then we have family room. Yep, it has to do with family. I'm sure. You need to let it go. You need to move. And whether it's physically, from your parents' home, or move. Make a move. You need to make a move, basically. Straight up. Okay? Three, balance, expansion. Maybe that's what I was saying again. You need to redirect, re redecorate your home, some of you. Clear out the energies, purify. Move things around, throw things away, give things to charity, start fresh, press that start button, okay? That refresh button. It's not even refresh, it's restart. We're putting everything to bed to rest, the death card, and we're starting fresh on a new path okay so then we have um a change in the wind definitely a change it's death a change in the wind guys three again expansion expansion moving forward body mind and spirit knowing what you want and going for it having a clear idea a clear goal going for it no matter what no matter what okay moving forward yes a change in the wind oh definitely guys okay let's put this here so you can see it yeah guys mm -hmm. then what do we have patience i accept that everything happens in divine order like i said going for it not worrying about the outcome just trusting in yourself and in your passion, your goals, your aspiration, knowing, putting the effort, the energy, without expecting anything, okay? Working diligently. This is a diligent energy, working diligently, patient. Page of Pentacles is super patient. The page of, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is super patient, but he doesn't stop. He knows where he's going. He knows it's going to be you know, what everything he expected and even more because when you're doing that spirit definitely rewards you. Definitely. For effort. There's no ifs and uh, about it. Because then you have purity and love. Again, two cards of purification, guys. Some of you need to purify something, put it to dead, I mean to, to bed, let it die. Some of you need to rearrange your home, purify your home, purify your energy. Rebalance yourself, um, realign yourself. Look at all that white. The wolf is very clever. Put something, there's something that needs to be changed. There's change, change, there's a change here that needs to happen, guys. I don't know, it could be in your home, it could be in your job, it could be your energy. It's some, you need to change your perspective, definitely. That's what I'm feeling. Because then you have love. It's going to bloom. It's going to bear fruit. It's going to be successful. It's gonna be amazing. It's going to balance you. It's going to bring you joy. You're going to love it. You're going to love it, basically. All right, guys? Well, pile number one. That was your reading. Wrapping it up. Something needs to change. Something needs to be purified. Something needs to go in order to allow the new energy to come in, energy that will bring love, energy that will bring purity, obviously, because it's pure, so it's a clean slate, you know, okay, it's room, there's room, 
uh, there's air, there's light, and it's going to bring abundance. And it's setting you on this path of abundance. Okay, guys? And the answers are within you. The answers are within you. All right, pile number one. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's see how many batteries I have. I hate it when the video is just like shut off. But anyway, we'll just wing it. Pile number two with the clear quartz. Guys, this is for every pile, clear quartz. I'm just going to say it a thousand times until you get it. I think you get it. <laughs> pile number one. What does spirit have for you? Resilience. Three. This reminds me of the Ten of uh, Wands. You've done the work. Something, you need to drop it. You need to drop this load. It's heavy. It's keeping you from expanding. It's a three. It's keeping you from being balanced. It's throwing you off balance. You're going to fall if you don't drop it. You, this, you, you're going to fall. You're being stubborn. This is stubbornness, I'm feeling. This is knowing that something is not working and keeping at it. No. No, it's insanity. No. Okay? You have to drop it. Time to heal. Hello. Five, five, ten. It's over. Drop it. Death and Reaper. Set, shed that skin. It's over. It's dry. It's, it's it's crumbling. It's over. You can't you can't fix it. It needs to go. Notice how it's the same energies of death and rebirth, even in the first pile. It's over. Ten gone. Change. It's time to change. It's time to move forward. It's time to clear everything that no longer serves you. Okay, guys. Next we have. What am I going to do? We're going to do the same thing. Let's get the... You have um, two good tarot cards. Queen of Fire. Oh, hello. And the Seven of Water. Seven of Cups. Queen of... Uh, Queen of... Um, whatchamacallit? Ooh. Wands. You need to drop this. So then you can regain your power, your confidence. So you can clear your energy and rekindle with your true self, your higher self. The queen of wands is very self-confident. She doesn't stop and like entertain this shit. Sorry. She doesn't entertain this. Things that no longer serve her. She has things to do. She's fiery. She's go, go, go. She does not have time. And she listens to her intuition. She's very intuitive. In the original writer deck, she has a cat. She's attractive. She commands respect she's powerful she's successful she's brilliant she's creative she's mystical she's connected to source she's powerful this is pure power reclaim your power guys remember not gender specific this is calling you to remember who you are. Goddess, God. It's time to change. This was a setback. We sometimes do get heavy weighted by things, situations in life. But it's time to clear those energies. I mean, Capricorn, Jupiter, Pluto, all that. Um, just eclipses 2019. I mean, 2010 to 20, I mean, 20. 2001 to 2019, all those lessons, we've learned them. Do you want to repeat them? Or do you want to take that, transmute it, and turn it into power? Anyway, it's over. Now it's up to you. It's over anyway. We're in a new energy. Now it's up to you. Do you want to go back? Or do you want to move forward? It's up to you. Spirit doesn't force you. Spirit respects your choices. Because then you have endless opportunities coming. Seven of water. See, these opportunities are endless. But the queen of fire, she will do all of them. Because that's how badass she is. She can even do m multiple of them simultaneously. Because she has that power. She has that knowing. She has that wisdom. She has that creativity. 
This is pure promise here. This is endless possibilities. The world in your hands. Being able to create, achieve anything you want. And knowing which ones are not abundant. This is having a choice. This is having a choice. When you're standing in your power, you know who you are. You know that no one can force you to do anything you don't want to do. You do only what you feel you have to do. You do what's right for you. Okay? People might see your power and come up with some crappy, like, projects, like, trying to, like, woohoo, you know, fool you. It's not going to work because <laughs> you know. You're not putting up with it. Do you want to? You've put up with it before. Now you're the queen of wands. Oh, hell no. Not doing it. Are you crazy? Did you see me? Did you look at me? Not happening. Because then you have woman holding a heart. This is you. Having passion. Fire cups. This is you being driven with passion and accomplishing everything you want. And this is you balancing your emotions. So people are going to be attracted to you for sure. This is pure attraction, male or female. This is like oozing self-confidence, oozing love, oozing sexiness. It's attractive. A hundred percent power radiance I'm hearing it's time to go guys all right let's do the tarot oh, I love it we have temperance yeah you've tempered your emotions 14 5 that's that resilience that's that's time to heal. You've healed. You're like the alchemist now. You know, you, you know how to balance your emotions and make it fit and make the right magic to manifest your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations passionately. You know, you're balanced. You've healed. You've tempered yourself. Or you have to temper yourself. If this is not happening already, spirit is asking you to do so. To heal. Drop those burdens. Temper yourself. Step into your power. Regain balance. Open the doors to the endless possibilities that are here awaiting you. Because then you have the emperor. That's you. This is, you're going to jump from the queen of fire to the emperor. The emperor is Aries as well which is self-confidence. Knowing who you are, where you're going, your capabilities, your power, your divinity, and people respecting you because you are powerful. Everything you touch, successful, abundant. People come to you for advice. People want to work with you. They want to be around you. They want to marry you. They, they want you. For some of you, after this healing, because then we have justice, balance again. Two cards of balance. Justice is karma as well. Libra energy. I'm feeling for some of you guys again, because I have mature men in the kipper. Some of you got, okay. The emperor is the mature men, right? Four, five. The emperor is the mature man. This is the maturity. It could be the maturity you gain after you've healed, like I said, and you step in your power and then you, you're propelling yourself from the queen of fire to the emperor, okay? You're gaining. From then on, you will just rise to become the emperor. For others of you, and this is karma. It's the wheel. It's the wheel turning. The world, the wheel of fortune. This is a cycle, Okay, you've paid, you've done the work, you are, have a clean slate, now it's time to step into your abundance, to your gifts, to your rewards. Okay, Saturn, Jupiter, and Capricorn, stepping into your power, reclaiming your power, your legacy, 
your reputation is clean now. It's like, it's switched. You're in control. For others of you, maybe you got out of a relationship, relationships that have never been up to par. You got out of a divorce, I'm hearing, although there's not, I just heard that. Or just some relationship. Relationship could be anything, marriage, da, 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 da. It's over. You're like, ah, let it go. And from the moment you heal, you take the initiative, you show the universe, you heal. You start shining. Sorry, I'm getting excited. You start shining. You start being super attracted. You're not even looking for love. Because when we're, in a, we're, we're healed and everything, when you're so good with yourself, you're not looking for love because you're not looking for somebody to complete you. You know what I mean? You're just looking to, oh my God, I feel so good. I want to do this. Things you thought you couldn't do. Things you put in the background. All of a sudden, you're like, wow, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to, last thing on your mind is like, oh my God, I want a significant other. Because it feels so good to be you again, right? But, see, you're looking at your opportunities, like endeavors, like passions, things you want to pursue. It's like, wow, endless possibilities. But love is the last thing on your mind, right? But guess what? From that balance comes the beauty comes the attractiveness, the sexiness, and bam, this guy or this woman sees you and wants you. <laughs> like I said, everything falls into place after. Everything falls into place, guys. For some of you, there's a relationship coming and this guy is as sexy as you are. Okay. You are equal because it's not the empress. Empress is more mothery. This is going to be fire. But if you combine both of these, it could be equal to the empress, right? But I feel... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. That, that, that you guys might even create something together and work together because of that creativity you both share. That ability to... to, 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 to you know, that business savviness. Everything you touch turns to gold. Everything you create is prosperous, is abundant. Okay, it's kind of your match. But you know how to, you will be, when it's business, you will be like, okay, it's business. But then when it's love, you will turn into the goddess, you know, the feminine. When it's business, you can meet his masculine energy right the divine masculine but when it's love when you get out of the office or whatever working you become the goddess you know what i mean i like it this man is abundant sorry we're like we have a cold all both of us this man is like whoa okay we have take a risk and courage both cards mean the same thing i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence maybe you're going to be scared you're not, you're going to question his intentions because you've done so much work. This was so heavy. People have deceived you. You're not trusting in love anymore. You're like, oh, I just came now. I'm just reborn now. I'm good. All this stuff I went through and I'm finally rekindling with myself and finding my power, my confidence, my true north, you know, my higher self connected. I'm like so amazing right now. I don't know if I'm going to jump into a relationship. Can I trust it? I've been so hurt before. I'd rather focus on my, my, you know, my career. Spirit is saying, take a risk. You're healed. Nothing was going to happen. Don't be scared. Whatever you went through is not going to happen again. You've done the lesson. I mean, once we learn, I mean, why would we, we don't repeat our mistakes, okay? Have courage. Take risk, okay? Don't be scared. Go with the flow. Don't think about the outcome. Just go with the flow. Trust your intuition. All right, guys? I want you to see all the cards. Okay. So, courage. Take, well, these are the same, so I can put this here, right? Courage and take a risk. And then you have the mature man. Who is the emperor? I like it. I'm going to put him here. The emperor. Ooh, there's somebody coming. Who is sexy? Dreams. You've manifested. This is the love you've been waiting for. This is the ideal love, the ideal person. Your ideal match, the ideal vision that you have of what love is partnership. This is it. Dream. Herkimer or Diamond. You, this is the dream, dream, dream. Not only are you going to guys be so connected, 
fire the, and the intimacy, the, 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 the attraction is wow. I'm feeling it. And um, you're going to achieve great, great things together. You're not going to be bored at all. All this fire, wow. You deserve this too. It's justice. It's your karma. Yep, it is. This is justice for everything that everyone that's treated you like badly. Yep, I have just saw 4 4. Now, our TikTok is coming sooner than you think, baby. 30. Lots of threes here, lots of expansion. Three is also expansion. It's balance, body, mind, and spirit. It's also manifestation, guys. You've manifested. Maybe you haven't manifested, but this is something you've wished for for a long time, or you're. Your tip, this is how you see love being a partnership with someone, a significant other, and it's coming. It's coming sooner than you think. I like this. I love it. Well, um, group number two, I love you guys. Thank you. Great, great, great reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. All right. Let's go to group number three, hoping my phone doesn't die. My phone has been acting up lately. Please, spirit, don't let it die. Because I haven't gotten the thing of like, you know, editing and stuff. If it does, I'll just do editing. What do you want me to do? Right? I'm not going to sweat it. So, group number three, spirit cards, music, joy, love, purity. So, first card, blossoming. I like it. Which is a three, three. Lots of three for every pile here. Expansion. Master number two. Yep, blossoming. Mm -hmm. Some people, some of you are in group three, three, sorry, you've already started um, a project. You've already set that first brick like I was selling uh, the others. Group one was about like doing it, you know, it, I felt a lot of um, resilience and a lot of like uh, not being sure, lack of confidence, self-doubt. Group two was about like confidence, you know, and like doing having done the work and being excited and just like reconnecting with oneself you know reclaiming a power and then finding love group three yours is blossoming i think you've already started your project you're a little bit ahead of pile one and two it could be in music it's creative very creative whatever you're doing arts design mm -hmm. definitely it's gonna blossom flower moon is gonna it's gonna blossom like a flower you are blossoming like a flower you are cracked open as a rose and it's gonna happen for you that's a card of the rebecca campbell cracked open like a rose it's happening for you not to you i love that card anyway yes you are blossoming i'm feeling a really momentum here positive momentum for group number three Mm -hmm. the energy just shift I'm, I'm fresh dream the world into being yes group number three oh my god the energy I'm suddenly like <sighs> group two was not anxiety but it was fear but not the fear of like that fear, fear, shadowy fear. It was the fear of like, oh my God, this this is too good to be true, but I'm so scared it's gonna happen again. It was about love. That was about a connection. Group number one, it was more about like, yeah, that was total fear, fear, shadow fear. You guys, I feel like you're lighthearted. You're just like, whoa, you're in it. You've, you've, you're on the Aquarian wave. Guys, I'm feeling it. Dream the world into being. You are doing it. Oh God, group number three, love it. That's an 11. Yeah, you've stepped into that gateway. You're on it. You're on the plane. Guys, I like it. Good tarot. Messenger of... Yes, you have started. I'm telling you guys. And it's going to blossom. It's already blossoming. You've taken the first step. Spirit is behind the scenes. They're with you. <coughs> They're with you. Because guess what? You took the leap of faith. You plunged and you started something here with this. Messenger of Pentacles, which is a page of Pentacles. You have your eye on something and you're just going for it. You're passionate about it. It's your dream and you are going confidently with enthusiasm, with love, with passion. And it's going to blossom, baby. Oh my God, I feel it. This energy is amazing, group number three. Love it. 
Plus, it goes so well with the music, the joy. What was I saying? Joy, happiness. Wow. I love it when the cards do this. Okay. What else can we get? Like group number one and two, destiny at the end, wisdom at the end, and affirmation at the end. What can we get now? Let's get the, okay, temple path. Oh my God. Group number three, three again. Two threes, expansion, manifestation. You are expanding and the spirit is with you. What did I say? Spirit is with you. Spirit sees you. Spirit saw you. You took that first step. And like I said, spirit is here. <coughs> Listen to your intuition, signs, synchronicities, orbs. Look at these orbs. You are on the right path and spirit has your back. You are lucky, I'm hearing. You are blessed. You are blessed. Oh, yes. Super great energy here. Rites of passage. Oh, my. Guys, this is both saying the same thing. You have, and again, the 11. Where's the 11? Here we go. You have entered the gateway. You have gained the rite of passage. You have access. You've upgraded. And you are on the right path. And spirit is around you. Helping you. Guiding you. Applauding you. They are proud of you, group three. Super proud of you. And you are blossoming beautifully. Beautifully. Just like these cards, the synchronicity of these cards is beautiful. It's you. You are beautiful right now. Wow. You're actually glowing, I'm hearing. Journey. Oh, my. God. Guys, the cards are speaking. Journey, temple path, rite of passage. <laughs> Stop. A 10. You've started the new cycle, baby. And it's going to bring you abundance. Success, joy, fulfillment. You have stepped into the new version of you successfully. You have done the work beautifully, super beautifully, and you are about to be rewarded. You are already rewarded. I'm sure some of you already feel it. Journey. This is a beautiful journey you embarked on here. Ace of Cups, guys. <laughs> Your cup runneth over. Fulfillment, having everything you need. Dreaming your world into being. Spirit is handing you this cup. This is your reward. Endless opportunity. Endless abundance. Love around you. Love. You are love. You're attracting love. Everything is just falling into places. This is sweet. Let me just say sweetness all over. <coughs> Five of Cups. Queen of Swords. You no longer want to be in this state. This is where you, what you left and your step. You are the queen of swords or king of swords, guys. Not gender specific. This is where you were. 2019, 20, 2000 to 2019. I mean, 2000, what? 10 to 2019. You know, that decade. You're no longer like pondering on the past with the spill cups. You're not nostalgic. You're not miserable. You're not, you know, <coughs> despair in despair anymore. You have clarity. You've decided to step into your power, to speak your truth, no longer take BS, no longer dwell on the past, knowing that you have a knowing, a sense of knowing. That's why you've gained wisdom. You have gained the right of passage. Spirit you is with you. You are on the right path, and they are rewarding you with this Ace of Cups. It's amazing energy here. You're no longer doing this. Despair? No. We don't have time. We have things to do. We need to... You're like dreaming your, your world into reality. And for that, you need clarity. This is total Aquarian energy as well, right? The swords. You have clarity of mind. And it's focused, though. It's not that mind, monkey mind. No, your mind is focused. You are focused on your dreams. You are on the right path. It's going to blossom. You know exactly what to do. You're doing the necessary you're doing it brightly, beautifully, and it's going to be successful. Amazing group number three. Oh, woo, I love it. Oh my God, I'm so uplifted now. Oh my God. Yes, 
five, two fives, orphan, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like, oh, this is never going to end. Why is this happening to me? Everybody abandons me. Despair, lack of love, lack of warmth, just feeling lost. It's over because you've been eliminated. Two fives. This is, this is the change that happened. You went from this to this amazing energy here. And the ace is the new beginning. Plus the messenger is a beginning. Rite of passage is the beginning. Journey is a beginning. Amazing. Then you have illumination. <laughs> well, I would like to see. Rite of passage. Definitely, definitely illuminated. Stepping in your power. Stepping in the new cycle. With wisdom, knowledge, and clarity. And connected to source. Connected to your emotions. Bringing your dreams into reality, you just know you're on the right path, group number three. You are on the right path. Totally. Wow, group number three, this is amazing. And it's going to blossom. And you're you're just like you're just like enjoying the ride because you're enjoying it. You're in a good space. So you know what? You're not even worried of, about the outcome. You're just in a good space. Because you love what you're doing. And you trust in the universe because you're connected. You know the universe has your back. You know it. Group number three. You're on a brand new journey of to abundance. It's smooth. You're flowing. You're going with the flow. And you're not worried about a thing. And it's going to bring you abundance because that's the way to do it, guys. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Enshrines, sorry, my soul. Yes. This, this has weighed you down a lot, this feeling of being left out in the cold. It was emotionally draining, physically draining. Maybe some of you um, were left out. You had to move a lot in the winter time, like recently, um, last winter, you know, going from home to home, not being stay, have a stable, you know, environment to think and just regroup and reset. <coughs> some of you had been dealing with health issues. Because the Ace of Cups is healing. Some of you definitely were dealing with health issues. Definitely. And some of you lost someone with this orphan card and the grieving. But you've picked yourself up. Yes. You've picked yourself up beautifully. Spirit is with you. Supporting you. You, 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 you. I mean, bravo, guys. Group three. You've done. I'm amazed. I'm, I'm really... I'm really, how do you say, um, I admire you. It's not easy. It takes a lot of strength. But when you come out of this kind of energy, pff, boy. I mean, yeah, when you come out of this energy, you gain so much strength and wisdom. It's amazing. Nothing can stop you after. Nothing. I'm not saying other things won't come. They will. But you'll nip it in the butt. You'll feel it because we can't keep from feeling the emotion. It hits us. But the idea, the plan, the intelligence is not to dwell on it. Let it hit you. Ooh. Then you take it. You look at it. You transmute it. And that's what you've learned. That's your rite of passage. That's your new journey. But this journey, nothing is going to stop you anymore. Queen of Swords, Temple Path. Ace of Cups. Spirit telling you with this dream your world into being. Yeah, go for it. We got you. And you will, it will no longer affect not only your emotions, let alone your health. Because whatever you went through with this five of cups and this five of swords, I mean, this um, orphaned card was heavy. You've healed, though. It was heavy. It was scary. It was scary. Mm. But it's over, and you're never going to let anything or anyone make you feel that way again. Anything or anyone have that effect on you, no matter how bad it is. Okay? If it's a person that is, you did it to you, or just an emotional, grieving is natural, right? <clears throat> but you will know how to deal whatever, whatever, whatever comes at you now. Say you spray your ankle, you'll know how to deal with it. And you're going to take care of yourself now. 
You're going to start eating healthy. You're going to start, when we feel good, you want to go to the gym, right? You'll feel even better. You're going to start eating food that makes you feel better. You understand, you've learned this lesson. And because you're feeling better, you know that body and the mind and the soul are connected. And that's the lesson you've learned, I think. And by balancing your energies, you're, you're just seeing clearer. You have um, imagination, you're illuminated, you're creative, and you have willpower, right? Group number three, this is amazing energy here. Wow. Three, three different readings. It's really, 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 really great. All three readings have totally different energies. I love it. I love it when that's like that. Because it, I feel like it means that the pile you picked is really, really for you. Well, then again, it might resonate or not, right? But I personally like that all piles have different energies. Lovely. I like it. I'm going to start doing more of these. And guys, I just started the playlist. As promised, they're up. So check them out. I just have to do the signs, though. I did um, astrological, I did a collective, and I did uh, pick a card. So this is the second pick a card. I'll be doing more of these. Let me know if you like them in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. See you tomorrow for another pick a card, maybe. Who knows? Bye.